Hey guys, welcome back. We have our second exhibition match with Sam today. Uh, so I thought I'd run through the team quickly, so kind of get an idea of what we're going with. So I'm running a, so it's a Gen 2 exhibition match, and I'm running a little bit of a rain team with some meme stuff in it. So let's have a look at what we got here. So first up is um, Quillfish. Now, I'm a huge fan of Quillfish, so I thought I had to use it in my Gen 2 team. So it's more of a support Quillfish with Icy Wind, Acid Spray and Tort, and Liquidation as some damage. I'm going an offensive Poly Toad. So Protect, Hydro Pump, Earth Power, Hyper Voice. Then I have a, another Lover of the Rain in Schizor, and I'm going a Choice Band set. Um with Bullet Punch, Brick Break, U-Turn, and Dual Wing Beat. Um, I have a Pile of Swine set in case he gets Trick Room up. I've run a mid-speed one with Icy Wind, High Horsepower, and Ice Shard. And Ice Shard is there to activate my Noctowl's Weakness Policy, which has Protect, Hurricane, Hyper Voice, and Stored Power. And it's running the Tinted Lens um, ability. So... Uh, there's no such thing as not very effective with this guy. So, Hurricane, Hyper Voice, and Stored Power. Now, after act, uh, Weakness Policy activation and three Hurricanes, um, Stored Power becomes 80, 160 base power. So, super strong. Um, and then I have a Specs. Uh, Reiko just to um, get some big damage off with Thunder. All right, so I'm going to contact Sam and get ready to battle him. I'll be back in a tick. And we're back, guys. So we've just connected to Sam. Let's find the team. And let the battle begin. Okay, very similar team. So I am going to start with the um, Puffer God and Kermit. And then in the brat back, bring um, Reiko and the... Skizzle. All right, good luck, Sam. So he's brought Kingdra, which is the real dominant uh, rain sweeper. Um, but I have an offensive Politoed. So, max speed Timid um, Kingdra is the same as um, uh, max speed Timid, uh, what have I got, Quillfish. But people don't often run max speed Timid. So, we're going to start off with an Icy Wind and a Max Strike into uh, the Kingdra. The next turn, so he's not maxing Kingdra, Intradasting. So obviously he's running max speed timid.
And bye bye, Quillfish. And now we just thunder everything. Now he does have Steelix in the back. We don't really see him bring Steelix against a, a rain team. I think I'll get the Thunder here and the Max Quake here again. Oh. It's just so bulky. Other than a crit, this should do next to nothing. Cool. And we'll get another Spadef boost. Alright, so I'm done with my Dynamax. You can see a protect coming from Politoed. I think I have to risk it and go Hydro Pump onto Entei. Come on, Sam. Don't just sit there and spam protect. Now my Politoed's not very bulky, it's not going to be surviving too much. Maxente. They're going for Reiko, Max Quake. Okay. 
Oh no, this isn't good. Don't you just love misses? Alright, let's game over there then. Still pretty good damage. game okay so how am I gonna change this I think I am going to lead the same so I'll lead the same but I think I am not going to max the polytoad off the bat And bring the Noctowl, the Al Pacino in the back. Okay, so I think I'll go, I'll, I'm just going to go the Miss Piggy and Al Pacino. Um, with Kermit and um, Thor in the back. Yep. I need to see if Samuel had time to nickname his team. Alright, game two. These little exhibition matches with some sort of restriction on them are, are pretty fun. Okay, I'm actually not too miserable with this lead. So I'm going to go the Ice Shard into Noctowl straight away. And I'm going to Max Airstream into the Entei. Who do I bring in the back? Ah, oh, I brought Kermit. Okay, that's good. I have to get my tech off. I have to get my Al Pacino off. Oh, I forgot about Follow Me. Oh well. Ah, oh, damn it.
Damn it. Couldn't get my weakness policy off. Easy survival. Hopefully the icy wind can pick up the Tegetic and I can start getting some damage onto this. Uh... Whoops, should have gone high, high horsepower. going to get um, Ice Shard. And get a Hurricane off. Oop. Into the Skizzer. Hopefully bullet punches into my um, pile of swine. Okay, I think I'm just going to Volt Switch. And Hydro Pump into the Entei.
Uzi Maxa. It looks like a Kingra's Bull. Now Kingra's going to be outspeeding everything. And it's probably going to get the KO onto my Reiko. Hmm. Come on, Hydro Pump, hit. Thank you. Come on, Life Orb, Hydro Pump, stab in the rain. Must get the kill. Here. Volt switch should pick up if he attacks into it. Come on, internet. Max airstream. Definitely not going to pick up. What's Skizzer going to do? Probably going to use a, gra a um, grass attack, a bug attack. Kingdra down. 2v1. Oh, we're off to game three. I didn't think I was going to pull that one back. Okay, so I'm going to lead So Sam's just having some video issues, so I'm just gonna pause it and we will be back when Sam is back And we're back Sam just had some issues with his recording equipment All right so this time, this time, I'm going to lead the Kermit and the Pufferfish. And in the back, I'm going to bring the Noctail and the Reiko. Okay, so that's my plan. I'm not going to max straight off the bat like I have the past couple, two matches. What's Sam got to say for himself? Okay, he's good. So... I'll just look to disrupt to start with, get some icy winds and some uh, um, acid sprays off. And then I'll bring these two in and look to max Al Pacino and um, Volt switch into it with uh, Thor. So Thunder would have been really good in that last match against um, when the scissor switched out into the Kingdra, because it would have just been a one-hit KO. But, that's alright. So clearly he's got a max speed, timid Kingdra. So it should be matching my Quillfish. Steelix, I am a okay with this. So I'm just going to Hydra Pump straight into the Entei. Oh, I see wind, and I will Hydra Pump. Hopefully I can get this Entei off the off the board early because it's a real pain in my keister. So 
So now I outspeed the Entei. Thank you. And we get the KO. Awesome. Kingdra. So let's go Icy Wind and I'm just going to protect. Who have I got in the back? Al Pacino. There's nothing he can do against my Kermit. So I might just try and get. What am I going? Fight. Oop. Fight. Yeah, let's go Icy Wind, and let's just try and get this Steelix off the board. So he's maxing Kingdra again. There we go. Good. Not that it means anything. And I survive it. Awesome. See, no bulk investment, still bulky. That's awesome. Bye-bye, Steelix. I think we handled this game much better. Much, much, much better. Yep, we'll go Thor. He's got Skizza. That's all right. I'm just going to go Icy Wind again and I'm going to drop a big thunder under the skizzer. Specs, stab, thunder, come on. Yes, we got him. Quillfish, the superior swift swimmer. Max Geyser. Okay. I'm going to send in Al Pacino now. And I'm pretty sure that Kingdra will still outspeed my Al Pacino. So I'm going to Icy Wind and Dynamax Max Guard. And then next turn, I will Acid Spray. If he doesn't go Max Airstream into Corefish, I'll Acid Spray and um, Max Airstream. More damage. Good. Okay. I think there's uh, not much he can do now. So I'm going to last bit of tech, Acid Spray and Max Airstream. And that should be GG. Okay, King use Protect. Now he's just stalling me out. Okay, so... 
Unless he gets a double protect. Which I don't think matters too much. I've still got this. So fight. Acid spray. And max air stream. Ah. Uh, what are you doing? You're gonna lose. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a triple protect. So I'm just going to use Hyper Voice this time since it's 100% accurate now that the rain's over. Alright, Acid Spray again and Hyper Voice. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> Acid spray. Chip damage, minus two spadef. And then hyper voice. Finish. Alright. We got the win. After the week one loss, we come back with the far superior swift swimmer. People, stop using Kingdra. Quillfish is where it's at. Quillfish is where it's at. Alright, so... Coming up, guys, uh, Thursday, Australian East on Australian Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be having my Week Seven match in the PBK Draft League. Um, I said I was going to record my Players Cup run on Saturday, but I didn't register properly. What a dickhead! So I didn't have to do any of that, but that's all right. There'll be, I'm sure, there'll be a Players Cup in the future. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys, and I will see you guys in two days for our, player, uh, for our uh, draft league match. Cheers, guys.